Welcome everybody. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put a custom background on a Cisco VoIP phone using Call Manager Express. So with Call Manager Express, you have to, uh, I think there is a, a, a GUI version out there, but I'm actually going to be doing it all command line. So uh, doing VoIP, Cisco VoIP always intrigued me. I always kind of wanted to get my CCNA in, in in voice but they kind of got rid of that and now they have collaboration which also does uh, voice and video but uh, I've never really messed with telephones so you know being a network engineer you're gonna be touching VoIP phones so I was just like you know what let me just let me just buy a, a 2800 series router off eBay and buy a 7970 Cisco uh, IP phone and I, I went on eBay, I bought it, I bought the phone for about $20, and then I bought my 2811 router, which supports Call Manager Express for about uh, 130 I don't know. But uh, I got some pretty good deals, and, 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 and now I have the ability to run Call Manager Express, which is awesome. So uh, I'm going to go through the steps, and let's get to it. So it's four easy peasy steps, and this is for the Cisco 7970. Uh, generally, these steps will work for all other Cisco IP phones, but depending on the model, you may have to change the directory on your flash uh, on the router. Okay. So when I get to it, then I will, once I actually start pushing these, these files to the, uh, to the router, then I'll tell you what, what is different depending on what phone you have. So the first thing is create the image file or files because you have to create two copies of whatever image you want to put as the background and you need to put it in a certain pixel format. So 320 by 212 and 80 by 53 and you need to save it in a .png file. Then you need to have this list.xml file that is going to be pushed to the flash and you could find the, the uh, example of this list.xml file. It can be found on Cisco's website or if you just do a Google search and say uh, custom background Cisco VoIP, you know, there's tons of pages and they'll reference this list.xml file. So just go ahead and do that. After you edit it, we are going to upload the images. So we need to have a local TFTP server so we could push it to the Commander Express or to the Flash. And I will be doing that on, on my laptop that I'm using. And then we just simply restart the phones. So you, depending on how many phones you have, but I just have one. So I could unplug it, replug it in so the phone could uh, restart. Or I could just hit the settings button and type star, star, pound, star, star, and it does a soft reset. So uh, these are the four easy steps. So let's get to it. The first thing, create that image file. So I'm going to be using this image file right here. It's called VoIP image. Once I hover over it, you can see that the dimensions are 3,743 pixels by 2807. And the requirements for this phone, again, was 320 by 212 and 80 by 53. So how do I, how do I change the pixels? Well, you just right click and I'm gonna use paint because paint is very simple for what I need to do. So paint opens up, this picture is so big that you can barely see the, uh, the image, but I'm just gonna click resize. I'm gonna resize it, hit pixels, type in 320, and I'm also going to uncheck this maintain aspect ratio and do 212. Bam, that's it. Now that's, uh, that's the size that I need. So I'll go ahead and save it. Once I saved it, and I've, I've already previously made it, but save it to whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna name the bigger picture, big, and then the smaller one, small. So I know which one's the small one, which one's the big one. So after I create this, and then I save it, go ahead and do it the other way, and do the 80 by 53 and then you just save it. That's all you need to do. Boom. So click OK, makes it even smaller. Save it, but I already did. So no need to do that. 
Now that uh, now step one is done. Next, we need to edit list.xml. So I already have this right here. I already have this list.xml file. And first of all, when you save this file, it needs to be exactly like this capital L lowercase ist.xml. Okay, these phones, it's it's case sensitive. So make sure that you have it like this. Now we're just going to edit it. Uh, we could use Notepad or WordPad. doesn't really matter. Just edit it. And it's going to look like this. And you can grab this whole example list. And it's on, it's on you know, Cisco's website and things like that. So let's say, let me just get rid of this because I actually previously already inputted it. But let's say I already have two custom images there. All right. And I want to add a third one. Copy this, these two lines, so control C, and then just add another one, or just add, add another line. Boom, control V, and then just edit whatever the name of that file is. So let's go and grab that file, wherever I put it, that file name, control C, and edit it, so... Is this the big one? Yep, that's big. And then this one's the small size. So I'm just going to paste that and I'm going to change it to small. Boom. And then we save it. Save. Boom. Done. Exit out. Let me double click this, make sure that it actually saved. Sweet. There it is. Okay. Now, that's it. Step two is done. Now we need to upload the images and use t uh, a local TFTP server. So, I'm running TFTP D32. Uh, this seems like a very easy, lightweight TFTP uh, program. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So now I'm running TFTP. So, uh, yep. So now let's go into the command line and push this to the... Uh, to the router. So I'm going to be using putty and let's just open this up, bring this into view, click enter. And one thing I want to do is actually let's do a dir flash and let's take a look at what I have on the actual flash drive. So one folder that I want to point out is where is it? should be called desktops. So you need to create a folder on the flash and it's going to be called desktops. Okay, desktops. So let me expand that desktops. And there's going to be this directory right here, 320 by 12, 212 by 12. If, the, if you have not created this on your uh, flash uh, on the router, you need to create it by using the mkdir command. Uh, mkdir. And then name, do whatever you need to. So go ahead and create those. I also have this other directory, 312 or 320 by 212 by 16. This folder needs to be created for other types of IP phones, probably like a 7975, I think. Hold on. Yeah, seventy nine a Cisco VoIP uh, seventy nine seventy five will need to use this directory, but this is the directory we're going to use for our seventy nine seventy. Okay. So now we need to move those folders, or I'm sorry, those three files into this three twenty by two twelve by twelve folder. So the command just copy it tftp. Uh, 192.168.11.2, which is my IP address on my laptop. And then we are going to send it to the flash. So desktops, 320, dang it. And then, uh, whoops. 
actually I need to copy the uh, well I already know what it's called one of, one of the files is gonna be called list.xml from my TFTP server and then I need to push it to my flash and name it that same thing okay hit enter destination file name desktops yeah that looks good warning there's a file already exists right because I already have a couple images there hit confirm boom it loaded cool now I need to do the other two pictures so hit the up arrow go ahead and take that off and whatever those files are called so go to my tftp directory folder and it's called test voip small and then test voip big so let's go ahead and do that hold on test voip small dot png let me just copy that and then move this over right click should be good hit enter enter again good and now let's edit this for the big uh, the big picture now I didn't I didn't copy so uh, I want to go back a couple steps the f pictures that I made for those files or for those sizes you have to copy that into the TFTP directory so when I'm using TFTP D32 it create when you install it there's going to be a default directory that it's going to use whatever you need to put in there just put in there and then we'll push it to uh, uh, to the router okay so that should be good let me bring in putty and hit enter good it should be there so if I actually if I hit the up arrow 320 by 12 there's that list file and there is my new pictures there so uh, that should be it and now that it's on there I need to restart the phone um, I'll have to take a video and uh, I don't have a webcam or at least an external webcam that I could bring up here so I'm just gonna have to take a video with my phone and then I'll, uh, I'll combine it to this presentation so uh, that should be it so now let me go to the phone and reset it and our new picture should be there okay one small thing that I forgot to mention after I uploaded it to the uh, uploaded the pictures and everything to the router I actually need to tell the router hey to get to that actual file that uh, the phone is requesting I need to make an entry for a TFTP uh, for my router to be a TFTP server so it, it's it's real simple you just get to do TFTP server and then now I need to point to where that file is so flash what is it desktops 320 by 212 by 12 and then the name of the file so we did test voip small dot png enter up arrow now make it big big enter boom should be it save it should be it and yeah now let's go to the phone all right so here's my 7970 and I'm just going to do a soft reset so I'm going to hit the settings button and then do star star pound star star and we can see there that it's resetting it's doing a nice soft reset 
and this should take uh, maybe about 30 seconds or so so let's wait for it to boot up all right now that it uh, booted up go into the settings hit uh, user preferences background images and then here we go there's that new photo uh, that I just put in why don't you oh, I'll just hit select select it's pulling the image then uh, hit save exit oh my gosh and there you go there's uh, the new picture that we just put on there sweet so that was it that was uh, how to customize or put a custom image on a 7970 Cisco IP phone. I hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.